Hello, everyone, and welcome to Financial Accounting. Today, we will talk about Financial Accounting Standards Board codification and codification research system. Generally accepted accounting principles are a common set of standards and procedures. It used to be very difficult to find the required information as GAP documents varied in format, completeness, and structure. In some cases, these documents were inconsistent and difficult to interpret. Because of that, accountants sometimes were unsure whether they are using the right GAP. Determining what was authoritative and what wasn't became very difficult. In response to these concerns, the FASB developed the Accounting Standards Codification, or more simply, the Codification, or ASC. If you are new to accounting, FASB stands for the Financial Accounting Standards Board. It is the major source of generally accepted accounting principles. I will discuss generally accepted accounting principles in another video. The primary goal in developing the codification was to provide all authoritative literature related to a particular topic in one place. This simplified user access to all authoritative U.S. generally accepted accounting principles. The codification established the way GAP is documented, presented, and updated. It also eliminated non-essential information, such as redundant document summaries and historical content. Note that it doesn't create new gap. Instead, it integrated and combined existing generally accepted accounting principles. It creates one level of gap, which is considered authoritative. All other accounting literature is considered non-authoritative. To provide easy access to this codification, the FASB also developed the Financial Accounting Standards Board Codification Research System, CRS. It is an online, real-time database that provides easy access to the codification. The codification and the related CRS provide a topically organized structure subdivided into topics, subtopics, sections, and paragraphs using a numerical index system. A topic provides a collection of related guidance on a given subject, such as receivables, revenue recognition, or leases. A subtopic is a subset of a topic and is distinguished by type or scope. For example, overall and trouble debt restructurings are two subtopics of receivables. A section indicates the type of content in a subtopic, such as initial measurement. Note that in some cases, subsections are used but not numbered. A paragraph is a level where you will find the substantive content related to the issue researched. Note that all other levels exist to find the material related to the paragraph level content. Let's look at an example. Let's say we need to find gap for accounting for loans and trade receivables not held for sale subsequent to initial measurement. Here is how the codification framework is cited. ASC 310-10-35-47, where 310 is a topic, 10 is a subtopic, 35 is a section, and 47 is a paragraph. To access the necessary paragraphs, go to ASC Topic 310 to access the receivables topic. Then go to ASC 310-10 to access the overall subtopic of Topic 310. Then go to ASC 310-10-35 to access the subsequent measurement section of subtopic 310-10. The final step is to go to FASB ASC 310-10-35-47 to access the loans and trade receivables not held for sale paragraph of section 310-10-35. I will show you how to do it in the codification research system at the end of the video. 
Note that when the codification doesn't cover a certain type of transaction or event, other accounting literature should be considered, such as FASB concept statements, international financial reporting standards, and other professional literature. Fortunately, this doesn't happen very often. The FASB codification can be accessed at the FASB's website. Access to full functionality of the codification research system requires a paid subscription. Reduced price academic access is available through the American Accounting Association. This is what the website looks like. I will post the link to the website in the comments section. For my students, I have the login and password posted on the Cyber Campus website. You should contact your instructor for access information. Once you log in, click on the FASB Accounting Standards Codification website link. Start with searching Topic 310, Receivables. If you don't know the topic number or the exact name, it might be easier to use the search engine to find them. This is a closer look at the topic and subtopics. Click on the arrow signs to look at the subtopics sections, and paragraphs. Click on the Paragraphs link to open the paragraph. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and ring the notification bell so you are notified when we release more videos like this. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you all again in the next video.